Greetings, it's uh, M0YKS. I've just uh, finished with the ladders now, put them away, and I'm about to uh, try the uh, first satellite, which is Alpha Oscar 7 coming through. It's an SSB sat, so I'm just going to uh, see whether we can get into that one and see whether the repairs have been successful. So I'm using a bit of software, it's uh, AMSAT software, and that's the, uh, the address amsat.org.ar, and basically it's free software on the PC, and it's a live page. And it gives you the information of the bird that you want to work. So I'm going to be going for Alpha Oscar 7. Uh, which is, that's the number of orbits it's made. That is the time it will be in range between 1421 and 1442. It'll have a 50 degrees elevation maximum peak. It'll come in at 131 degrees. That's where it's going to start. When it gets to 68 degrees, it'll be 50 degrees above the horizon. And I'll lose the bird at 339 degrees. So looking at the data, it's at the moment it's at 137, minus 21 below the horizon. Here's the information, that is the uplink, 432 at the moment, 137, that changes with the Doppler shift. Notice that's on lower sideband, and the downlink is on upper sideband, which is 145952 at the minute. There's a beacon on there, that's on 145980 on CW, and then down here, is all the information for the type of satellites you can receive with a bit of data telling you the frequencies which you can find them on. So as you can see there's a lot of uh, birds, hang on, go back to the right bit, a lot of birds there, a lot of satellites, as well as a space station and anything basically that's orbiting the Earth to do with amateur radio. So they're all there. I've selected the SSB and FM satellites. There is data satellites and digital satellites so I'm just going to be waiting now for the bird to come into range and at the minute it's just uh, over Africa looks like Western Africa and uh, yeah it's going to be a few more minutes yet so six minutes till the time that we'll get it it's telling you the time there 6.52 and that is the distance it's 6,800 kilometers at an altitude of 1,000 446 kilometers so yeah I've got a very big footprint the footprint is the circle the circle around the satellite which basically means anybody within inside the circle or we call it the footprint can speak to the bird or receive signals if you've got a good enough antenna system and radio so that's where I'm located in the UK in the north part of England so I'm gonna get back and uh, hopefully will work the sat so I'll just have a quick look at the radio so here we are it's the FT847 and uh, I'm using two VFOs on the satellite system and uh, I'm going to be TXing on the right hand side at the moment I've got it on CW because I'm going to send a quick CW signal using the key uh, and I'll find myself very easily very quickly on the downlink frequency which will be somewhere around there and I'll be transmitting somewhere around there to get that to happen so I'll listen to my own signal around here and hear the CW tone I'll then switch this VFO back to lower sideband and start talking hopefully and receiving on there so that's how the setup works and then to control the antenna system this is how I do it so I've got two controls this is a GS Five, sorry a G5500 controller system which connects to the rotator which moves the antennas on the previous video which is a 15 element X beam for 435 upwards and the 145 5 element Yagi so to do that I can control the elevation with that that gives me the readout I can take it all the way from 0 up to 90 degrees and back fully across do a complete 180 so that's quite good for an overhead pass and then at the same time I can uh, swing it around to the correct uh, azimuth al um, angle which is 0 to 360 oh, sorry, well a little bit extra because you can go a bit beyond so these controllers are a little bit better, you've got an extra uh, quarter of a turn we'll say uh, which gives you a bit of play some people have them interface to a computer and it's all electronic, you don't have to do anything I personally enjoy the hands-on approach. People have said to me, why do you interface it? Well, I enjoy fiddling 
and actually doing it all myself so I'm just going to be back in a while and we'll see we've got about um, looking at that the time is counting down and we'll be, we'll be ready to track the bird shortly from M0 YKS so I've just uh, set the camera up a little bit closer and uh, turn the volume up a little bit we're just one degrees above the elevation now and the time uh, is counting down nicely we've got 15 seconds left on the clock I'll just turn the speaker on you should actually hear that so that's just letting me know that the bird is in range built into the software a little bell warning telling me that it's just on the horizon now so I'm going to start listening for the bird at 131 degrees and I've got uh, very little elevation on to start off with so I'm hoping to hear a bit of CW first coming through and then once that starts to come through hopefully there'll be one or two other radio amateurs operating with a voice so it's just a case of sweeping around the frequency says 952 on the software so that's where it's roughly should be coming through around this area with an uplink of 137 so I'm, I'm I, I usually start around 145 960 upper sideband receive and 432 140 so it's just telling me now that the next bird is in in range so I'm going to turn the speaker off because kind of gets a bit annoying if you're not wanting to work every bird obviously so it's a case of listening now I can use some filters So yeah, it's still over Africa, it's over roughly Egypt at the minute, and the uh, Middle East, Alpha Oscar 7, only just entering my area in the footprint that I mentioned earlier. So I've got 10 degrees, I'll start to bring my antenna up slightly. Hopefully start hearing stuff. Just lower my transmit frequency. Change to lower sideband, make sure I'm on the right mode because it is a A and B mode this satellite. No, it should be SSB, upper sideband. I 
I can hear someone in there now. So I sang a little bit. Just got to read. So it sounds like an Italian station, but audio quality is a bit poor through the satellite. Hotel Bravo 9 Oscar, Bravo Alpha. I'm just trying to get the uplink. So, got reception. I'll get a bit more elevation on there, move the antenna, it's at uh, 35 degrees now. I've not worked the bird for months, so it could be in poor shape. I'm just trying to find myself. So what I'm doing is I'm changing the uh, frequency that I'm transmitting on. But struggling today. So I'm obviously not on it. 45 degrees, I'll just bring it up a bit. I wouldn't have thought I was too far away. So I'm just going to put that on SSB. Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra.
Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. CQ set. Not really getting in there on this particular pass. So we've got 49 degrees elevation. I can say that chap but he's coming through pretty poor. Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. So yeah, I say in, in great shape at my end today. That particular bird. Not to worry. I know the, the antenna's working, we've got reception, just not getting back into it too easy on that particular pass. So, the footprints, it's more or less overhead, as much as it's going to get now, 50 degrees, and the uh, position is 45. But other than the HB9 station, I didn't hear much. Not a particular good indication about how well it's operating. Very old satellite. Possibly needs a bit of sunlight to charge the batteries up. So that's just a quickie. I'm going to be uh, back shortly with a few more. Um, I think uh, looking at the, the rundown... I'll have to wait a while before a decent overhead pass comes. So just messing around in the shack. Hopefully you're enjoying it so far. Yeah, so it doesn't always go how you want it to go. It's a persistence. You've just got to keep trying and uh, obviously you get there. So I'll have another go on, on the next satellite. There's a lot of new satellites that I've not worked yet. So I really need to get to, on the AMSAT page and study a few of the frequencies and, and get them into my head there, get them into the memories. So uh, that were a, not a very good example, however, you heard something. And uh, next time I'm, I'm back with a video, I'm hoping it'll be a lot better. So thanks for uh, watching, and uh, that's basically the basics of how to work an SSB satellite. Hopefully you got something out of that, and uh, next time we'll be a bit more successful. This is M0YKS saying 73, and catch you soon.